then. I'm sorry. If you would like to get your song reviewed, dear listener, there's the Filthy Capitalist option. It's sorry, it says. 125 gets you straight to the head of the line. You don't have to be a part of the alliance. You don't have to be part of the group. Wait a minute. And the biggest thing is you don't have to wait. You hop, skip, and jump right in front of everybody. 125 gets you there. You do that three times, and then get mashed down to the $75 rate for perpetuity. Yes! Also, there is a band review option. <laughs> so if you've got a band and you're trying to get your band some exposure, hit me up at sorry at gmail.com, and I'll show you the details about how to pull you that off. You can also jump on Patreon, and there is a option on the tiers to be able to get your band reviewed. Yep. Obviously, we can't lie to you. So we can't guarantee, can't guarantee a positive review. A positive review. <laughs> get what you get. It's just rubbish. 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 That's British for garbage. Ah! My favorite is the community option. One dollar at the gate gets you in a Patreon. You get to join an alliance. The alliance joins their points together, and that helps determine what songs that we do. <laughs> the alliances hang out on Discord. Shh, message me on Patreon to get the link. And they do all kinds of other cool things. They do Minecraft. <laughs> Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, yeah. It's really a community within the community. Anybody can go on the village, facebook.com backslash Finn and Sorry. There's 160 plus thousand people on the channel. What's cool about the Discord is that it offers a real opportunity for community connection, friendship, that type of thing. But, and uh, it's on Discord, so if you're not a Facebook person, it's for you. You start off at a dollar. Right. Plus you get exclusives. Sorry and I are working on a song. So the first 15 seconds of that was on Patreon. Also, at $15 here and above, when we actually debut the video, they're going to be there live with us. There you are, dear listener. Buy our merch. Buy our merch indeed. Buy a child our shall merch. lead them. We are on the last song of our DJ stream tonight. What a tragedy. Uh, doesn't mean there's not a bonus one Tra coming. But there have been Agents a lot of bonuses on the stream, ladies yeah, and gentlemen. Yeah, I know. Gents. There's been lots of bonuses. It's uh, it's currently 2.30 in the morning here in Maine. We're running on four hours and 43 minutes, <laughs> yes. and we are still running, ladies and gents. <laughs> yes. Yes, Kai, okay. Kai, Kai. We're going to hook up, bro. We're good. So this, We're all the way good, bro. Go ahead. This song um, has been brought to us by Middle Earth. This is Middle Earth's pick. So the comment here is, saw them live at the former home of the Los Angeles Lakers, the fabulous forum Inglewood, California in 1978 at Inglewood. one of the two shows, either on 10, 5, or 10, 6. That tour was in the round on a revolving stage. Oh, cool. Oh, man. Constructed for the tour. I have zero recollection of anything on that day. <laughs> Who I was with, whatever. Just the concert. This? this is Middle Earth. This is Middle Earth? Yeah. Just the concert as I, as I was I blazing it. hard and fully mesmerized by the concert. Saw this song performed. At least I remember the concert clearly, and we had great seats to boot. One of my best concert experiences ever. Young and dumb I was. This song is in two parts, or movements. Your move and seen all good people. And played on FM album oriented stations as such. <coughs> 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 Sorry, guys. Okay. So here we go. Uh, yeah. And actually, this time we're not going to have to wait another five minutes because I got it done, ladies Yay! and gentlemen. Okay. <laughs> so this is called Yes, I've Seen All Good People. It yes, is a band. live performance, which is my favorite kind of thing, FYI. And let's go. I've seen all the I've good seen people. All good people turn Ah, the 70s. Or maybe it's the, uh, yeah, 1971. Wow. Yeah. 
Wow.
<laughs> Fuck. That was from the official band? <sighs> Damn it. Now we're going to have to do that big whole thing again. What big whole thing again? Can you guys hear us? Can you guys hear us? Hit 22, hit 22. <laughs> Can they just come back on? <laughs> uh, let us know when you can see us. You refresh that. <laughs> Is this going to happen every day? One of these days, I'm like, you were so tired of you people. Holy shit, it's still doing that. Mm -hmm. Sugar Honey Iced Tea. Play my song instead. <laughs> we are coming back. Uh, are you, you guys something you want to what happened oh, I, I probably won't say that in the actual review oh. um, well I, I always think when I see was that the 70s I always feel like either everybody this is going to sound so terrible I always think either everybody was ugly in the 70s or they just their hair and outfits just didn't they didn't know how to like pick stuff that made them look good Oh, right? the hairstyles yeah. and stuff like that. It's like, man, what? Refresh it. <laughs> yeah. That is not a good idea. <laughs> no, I agree. I agree. Sometimes I look at it, I'm like, somebody <laughs> somebody looked at themselves in the mirror. Somebody got dressed, looked themselves in the mirror and, and said, said, damn. This is a good idea. This is a good idea. <laughs> this is a really, really good idea. And how do you explain that to your hairdresser? Can you give me some bangs and like cut it short on the side here and but let it have it long in the... <laughs> Uh, okay, well, uh, we'll give it another two two minutes. And then Allah might decree that we have to resume tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, still down. That's not good. Refresh it again. I just literally did. <laughs> there it is. There I it think is. we're back, guys. I think we're back. Woo! <clears throat> okay. Uh, 22. Excellent. We've, we've returned. We have back. For the uninitiated, what happens is we play the song all the way through. We don't cut it up and all the rest of it. The other YouTube channels do that, and they're great for doing that. You should do that. If we were smart enough to do that at the beginning, we would have. The reason they do that is because you, you get copyright claims and violations if you play a song all the way through, especially if it's a major legendary band like Yes. I'm pretty sure the last uh, yes song we did also got also got uh, vioed. So, um, uh, so that's what happens. We usually eat it. We usually eat it, and then it it, it comes back after a couple uh, uh, a couple uh, right yeah whatever right. Um, so that that's what's happening, guys. Uh, Twenty two was for Benny smacking. Do it. They want they want to see you beat up uh, the koala. I thought we don't do that. I'm like, I already did it once, and we don't do that unless what, well, there was like a we, super we chat can't thing, beat right? up the koala unless the, the koala has done something worthy of a beating, and or that super chat thing. That was what was what it was. There was like a certain super chat that they had to do. Oh, that's, they were doing five dollars super chats to see Ben get beat up. Was it five dollars? Because he, he, but he, he, mm. he, you know, he did yeah, the thing. Cross shout out to Ben Webb. Love you, buddy. You're my guy. Okay. Um. Okay. So let's let's hop into these lyrics. The song was fun, like, and I, it did. It definitely had the the two uh, the the two, at Middle Earth. You paid for two songs on this one. This is one song. It had two. two it had songs? two transitions, but he just didn't want us to think that he was trying to. You know what I mean? So the next time you do a stream, we'll just throw in the extra one because you'd already paid, or I can yeah, refund you. Middle whatever, Earth, Middle Earth, bro. Your 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 character is unquestioned, bro. Yeah. Okay. That don't don't. You're good. We'll get you another song. You should not have paid for eight. Um, but that's okay. We got you. So, <laughs> I actually didn't even hear the lyrics literally at all. Because I was mean? just watching. I mean, it was very entertaining to watch these people with their haircuts. And yeah, their, yeah. And there was like that one guy with the blonde hair, the long hair. And he was getting right into it with his clapping. And yeah. Like, yeah. I loved it. I, I liked seeing that. And then I kept thinking, obviously, like how you said all that you were at, you were at the show. 
And um, what an experience that was. Little I can was see how if you're show? at that show. At this very show, the one on the video. Oh, I don't know if it was this very one, but it was this band and they were doing this song at the concert that he attended. You know, the 70s, so. the 70s uh, is my, I've, I've, I've had this conversation with you, right? Like, I don't believe, I don't think I believe in past lives. But if I did, I was in the, I was in the 70s, right? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, you know how they'd have that those like floral wallpaper designs. Yeah, yep. They're kind of like orangish. The whole room was like orange. oranges and greens. Yeah, like orange and green. Yeah. yeah, I love that shit, bro. I love it. You, still? Oh yeah, I, I, that whole the whole feel of it, like watching movies, like uh, I think it was like Shaft or something like that, like just in the seventies and the the funk music and the. Uh, it oh just, man, it was just, it was. I think I think the seventies is also a really cool, cool time for music. I mean, obviously we're speaking speculatively because we were nowhere close to being alive. But you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Go ahead. There is a house that's actually close by us. My parents went there for some meeting one time, and the people let us go around their house because the way they designed it was absolutely ridiculous. So each room was like retro. Like, the wallpaper, the everything. It was so ridiculously, like, on purpose, dated back so far. But all the rooms felt, they were exciting. You would have loved it. You'd have loved the house. I just loved it. And I and, and you know what's funny? Like, that, mute, that, that time period, I said the 70s, it has that signature style. Like, the vocalist had, like, a... It was kind of like a dreamy type of... Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, and you're right, like... Definitely the, the lyrics are important we're going to it, but I, I just love live music. And I like the fact, I like how much um, they were into it. The guy was clapping and stuff. Like, he wasn't like rocking him, but he was like clapping, you know, to the beat. And all. Like, I, I just, I, anytime I see musicians, like we're at the corn show, and uh, Head was, um, uh, I forgot, I think it was Issues. And he was singing along to the words as he's playing. Mm -hmm. I love that. I love when people from, from the band are quoting the singer i love that because i'm like yes like yeah. they really enjoy i the totally music. agree totally i love agree. it <clears throat> i was watching a uh forgot what it was it was a girl and uh i'll tell you what arch enemy so the girl that the 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 the, the, the front the front one the front woman for the band now is not the one i'm talking about there was another one before her mm -hmm. and she was like you want to talk about like going to war like, I would go to war with this woman. It was insane. Like the way, just the way that she the was, and she was like, I mean, it was, and there was no bullshit. You could tell, like, that's just how she is. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the girl from uh, RH. I forgot, I forgot her name, but it was like her stage presence. Like, forget it. Like, I've never. It. It was. You know. Anyway, I was like, holy shit. <laughs> and it was so cool because you know she's a woman or whatever, but she was like commanding the crowd and everybody was following her and shit. Ah, I'm like that is more a than floor. Power. It was a completely different energy. Different than energy. The energy, yeah. like honestly, like floor mm -hmm. sounds like it's like an angel descending from the heavens. Mm -hmm. This woman was like, "We're going to go to Mordor. We're going to kill this nigga, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, let's go." You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, we're gonna we, we're gonna drill on these people. Like, it was completely different. But. These guys are not metalheads, man. They're they're you know, so their thing is they're not gonna rock, they're not gonna do all that shit. They're just gonna clap. Mm -hmm. And I okay, that's your thing, bro. Do that shit, bro. I love it. I love it. I, I, that was such a good song. And th this has been a pretty eclectic night, man. Uh, I gotta yeah. say. Yeah. I gotta stay. Uh okay, so let, let's actually go into the actual lyrics now because I've that's our, that's seen our all thing. good people turn their heads each day. So satisfied I'm on the way. I've seen all good people turn their heads each day. So satisfied I'm on my way. Uh, take a straight and stronger course to the corner of your life. Make the white queen run so fast she hasn't gotten time. She hasn't got time to make you a wife. What? Take a straight and stronger course. To the, hold on, let me start from the beginning. That was the beginning. Well. I've seen all good people turn their heads each day, so I'm satisfied I'm on my way. Okay? I've seen all good people turn their heads it's each the day, so thing. I'm satisfied I'm on my way. Well, I'm sorry? I what was just telling you it was the exact same phrase. Oh. <laughs> Take a straight and stronger course to the corner of your life. Make the white queen run so fast she hasn't got time to make you a wife. What the hell is the white queen? Is hey. The Alice in Wonderland? Oh, I'm sorry. Alice in Wonderland? Uh, we've we've got a we've got an emergency. 
She did twenty two dollars. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I, I was pretty sure it was twenty two. I love you, buddy. But uh, go Look, ahead, sorry. Local recording stopped. You're out of disk space. That's a problem. Mm, right. It just means that this this last half is not going to be on the um, thing, okay. but it's going to be uploaded. It's all it's all uploading to YouTube, so we're in good shape. It's just we can't save it to the disk. Um, I'm going to give him a choke out. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna hit him? Uh, no, I am not going to hit him. I'm not you, gonna hit Ben. You have to. I don't have to do anything. All yeah. I have to do is stay black and die. You were paid. I mean, I was paid. You were paid twenty two. She paid twenty two. You have to do it. Does that mean? Did you hit him already? I did. I have to give him a proper one. I'm gonna give him a stone cold stunner. Uh, uh, <laughs> Injury! Ah. <laughs> ben, I did that for the money, bro. I love you, man. I love I you. you know I love you. He did it for the Benjamins. I did it for the Benjamins, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the people's elbow. <laughs> the people's elbow. Shout out to Ben Webb. Okay. So I don't know if that hasn't... You know Alice in Wonderland? There's the Red Queen. That's one of those and classics. The white I, never, one. I never read. I never read that classic, but go ahead. Okay, so... But I don't know what that has anything to do with it, so... Make the White Queen run so fast. What is the White Queen... Oh, she got time okay. To your... The chess part? Maybe he's talking about the ch chess. Oh. Chess. Black make and white. Make the white queen run so fast she hasn't got time to make you a wife? The corner of your so life. So that looks like a chess board. Take make a the straight white queen run so fast. She hasn't got time course. to make you a wife. Okay. That, that, I, I, I think that that makes sense. Because it's time. It's time. Because it's time. It's oh, time. move me on to any black square. So, you, yeah, there is yeah, a chess use reference. Use me anytime you want. Just remember that the goal is for us all to capture all we want anywhere. Don't surround yourself with yourself. Move on back two squares. Send an instant karma to me. Initial it with love and care. Don't surround yourself because his is time and in time with your time and the news is captured for the queen to use. <laughs> this guy is an extremely intelligent lyricist. And that was all just I love the way that this guy writes. So I took, I've seen all good people turn their heads each day, so I'm satisfied I'm on my way. Yeah. I took that to mean everybody's seeing that there's a problem, but everybody's turning away from it, but they're supposedly good people. So if a good person can overlook a problem, then so, so can I. So I'm satisfied with that knowledge, and now I'm on the way. Now I'm on my way. That's oh, how I, that's how my I gosh. Right? He's saying all the good people. That's why he says don't sa don't surround yourself with yourself. That's basically yeah. don't put yourself in an echo chamber. Like, uh -huh. Because you're you're gonna end up doing shit without any. That's why, like, I believe in masking. I believe in vaccine and all that stuff. And I even believe that an employer has a right to say, "Look, you have to vaccinate." I, I because I've been in upper echelon management, I know exactly what the conversations are. One person gets sick, a whole bunch of people get sick, and now you're losing all this revenue. Mm -hmm. and and you're potentially losing clients and all the rest of it. So yeah. I understand those things. Mm -hmm. I also understand and respect the person saying, yep, I can't do that, though. I, I, I get it, bro. Mm -hmm. I respect it. And if you're only around non-maskers who can never are, are never going to challenge you, that's not a good place to be in. Simultaneously, that, if you're only around people who just go along with everything and don't question anything... Why, why, there's a Wuhan coronavirus lab, <laughs> the Jon Stewart thing, which by the way, YouTube took down from my, vi from, from, uh, middle America. Oh, they did? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. It's funny because M. Death Man was, you know how he is with that stuff. He's like, oh, they're going to take it down. I'm like, man, shut up, man. Mm -hmm. I'm too small. They took that shit down with the quickness, bro. I, uh, it was like literally two minutes later. He said, say what me. you want. That's pretty bizarre. So my thing is like, what he's saying, don't surround yourself with yourself. Like my thing is like. <sighs> If you're constantly around people like that all the time, and that's that's one of the things that I feel like part of me is like, if I was not a Christian, I would have literally no hope for this country. Because media, especially social media, like, I don't know, I didn't talk to you about this, but like a former executive at Facebook, I don't know if she was an executive, but she basically said that Facebook was aware that the more negativity and more angst was shared on their forums the more money they would make mm -hmm. so they would they would purposely put articles in their algo that were contrary to what the person's habits were to get them angry so that they could repost it so they could start a fight so they would generate all the revenue so she gave that testimony like a week ago 
So now I'm at the point where I'm like, you cannot close Pandora's box. You know, you know, they shut down, you know, the, the crazy Trump people that stormed the Capitol. They did all the planning on that on that mm -hmm. forum. I forgot the name of the forum. But Amazon shut it down. Thank you, Amazon. <laughs> um, but if you're Parler? only... Huh? Parlor? Parlor. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if you're only... And man, being in that in those forums, man, you want to talk about an echo chamber. These guys were talking about killing government officials and everybody was like co-signing it. Wow. It's unbelievable. I, I don't think like the people that are like, oh, that's terrible. They shouldn't have done that to Parlor. I don't think they actually went to the page. I don't believe... Because I'm pretty sure... No matter how crazy right when you are, like the shit that these people were, I, I screenshotted a bunch of it. The shit they were saying was insane. It was just crazy. Wow. Wow. And to me, that that, that 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 is the the cautionary tale or the logical end of what's happening currently in our seats in Laban with with this whole political polarity that's happening. Is that like people are now in their echo chambers and they truly believe. That because all these other people are agreeing with them that they're right. Mm -hmm. And so if it wasn't for God, I'd have no hope for this country because oh, yeah, mm -hmm. you cannot control social media. You yep. can't. I mean, they tried to do it. Facebook tried to do it. I mean, we got heavily, heavily, heavily regulated and monitored last year, the, the Middle America page. But it didn't matter because we all still can talk to each other. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're still on chat with each other. We're still doing a whole bunch of things. I mean, I know what they're saying. They're saying, yeah, but you're not going to be able to influence extra people. That's fine. Because we have a free speech environment in the middle of America thing. So people post things on there I don't agree with all the time. And if they post something unfactual, I'll comment on it and say, or I'll shoot a video. Because I know if I shoot a video, it's going to get seen by everybody in the forum. Right. So that allows me to be a little bit more liberal as far as, like, people saying stuff. Mm -hmm. But Facebook has over a billion users. How the fuck are they supposed to manage that? So, I just think that there's, there are no easy, and, you, you know, we talked about nuance, when nuance is important, when it's not. Yeah. This is the time to talk about nuance. Mm -hmm. How we figure this shit out. Mm -hmm. Because the dilemma that we're in, particularly with social media, does not have a precedent in human history. Mm -hmm. So there's nothing we could look back and say, oh, well, when this happened, this happened. You see what I'm saying? Like, yeah. for example, you, you know what I'm saying? So, so Zuckerberg and the rest of these boys are trying to figure this shit out. You know, a phrase we used to use all the time is we're trying to build an airplane in midair. So I have a certain degree of like, okay, bro, I understand what you're trying to do there. But at the same time, I'm like, dude, you built your entire, I'm not going to say entire, because I don't believe that he started Facebook believing, oh yeah, we're going to monetize conflict. Mm -hmm. I think Trump showed up and he said, huh, and I believe their revenue skyrocketed and he got addicted to that, to that thing. Yikes. Cause you know what it's like, like when you're making sales on something or whatever and yep. you're like, yo, if I, if I yep. get this thing, it's going to push us up another 3%, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Which translates to thousands and thousands of dollars. So man, I, I, I really, I do not believe there's going to be a fix for this, man. I, I, I truly, truly, as far as um, um, I don't know if I want to say that. Go ahead. Keep going. You're, you're up. No, I, I didn't really have I, I liked what Sadie had said. She said maybe when we when that there was that like not just surround yourself with yourself. Move but then what it squares. says move on back to squares. Yeah, because she was saying maybe that means push forward. She was thinking maybe it meant, but, but, it, back but it, means push forward. No, so. no. When she said, don't surround yourself with yourself. I'll move like, forward. You're, you're move moving forward, I, I see, I see, but, I see, but I see, it doesn't I see. work with the next lines. So oh, never mind. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I, I agree with that. I, I, I agree with that. You do. Well, in, in not in the sense of this song. Oh, I mean, in oh, the sense, okay. because the, the metaphor, you ever, hear, you ever hear a person say, I had to step back for a second and collect mm. myself and then go. So, I think that's what he means when he says move back two squares. He's saying, man, because the closer you are, the less perspective you have. So if you if you stand back and try to get a larger perspective. Yeah. You, and that's one of the reasons why I listen to about an hour of Fox News every couple of days. Because yeah. I got to hear what they have to say. And like I said, I, I disagree with them almost everything. But I'm glad that they're 
putting that backstop in about the masks and the mandates and things like that. The government should never be comfortable. Even if they're right on a practical level, they should never be comfortable mandating that to us. They should right. always be nervous to right, do that. Right, right, yeah. So if Fox is accomplishing that kind of thing where maybe Biden would have done something else and he's and, and they said, we can't do that because mm -hmm. Fox is going to go crazy, then that's how democracies are supposed to work. Right? That's how it's supposed to work. So it's a really, really tough balance. I think the powers that be are working double and triple time to figure out how to um, fix this. And I heard somebody, I was very, very nervous. I'm like, somebody said like, he said something really crazy that he thought wasn't crazy, but it was crazy. Mm -hmm. And so it, it's, it's, a, it's a very, very crazy thing. And then now you've got good people who just turn away and keep and keep walking. Yeah. And so he's saying, oh, you guys are doing that? You guys are doing that? You're sleeping at night? Fine. Okay, I'll do that too. I'm satisfied. I'll be on my way then. And, you know, I was talking to my one of my little brothers in the, in the stream a couple, you know, songs ago about a specific issue. And I said, do not let that go unanswered. Do not let your friend say X, Y, Z thing. You have got to say something. Mm -hmm. I think that maxim, I think it's in the Quran is a good one. If you see evil... Um, uh, you need to physically interpose yourself and stop the evil. If you cannot physically interpose yourself, you need to speak to the person. If you can't speak to the person, you need to speak to Allah. But you have to do something. Hmm. You cannot yeah. sit That's there good. That's really and good. let sin happen. But he also had some practical wisdom that says sometimes you're not going to be able to physically stop it. Verbally stop it. Well, sometimes you can't verbally stop it. Well, you can always pray. Mm -hmm. I, I think that, that that's that's very, very important. And I think... If you teach people, if we truly see, this is the thing about the whole Americanism, nationalism. I think there's a lot of danger in nationalism. And I think, I think, you know, history has shown that, particularly the last century. But there's a part of me that's like, I wish I could talk to a person on the right who is against healthcare or whatever and be like, Okay, you're an American, you're a patriot, you, this is the greatest country in the world, you have no problem saying that. Why are you so quick to turn your back on other Americans who are in trouble? Mm -hmm. It's a genuine question that, look, if I can find a right, a, 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 like a hard right person, because even people in this forum, they'll be like, yeah, nah, nah, I'm not with that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I, I believe that M. Deathman, I do not believe that he'd be like, yeah, fuck that guy. Let him die, die, die. I don't believe it. Mm -hmm. I just don't. I, but I would like to talk to a person who is in that kind of mentality and, and just, just know from them, like, doesn't it bother you? How do we turn, how do we turn our heads and just keep walking when we see all this shit happening to our, our, our country? I wasn't even born in this country, bro. That's the thing that gets me. It's like, this is, this is the greatest country on the planet. It is, bro. It is. I've been around the world. Trust me. Why we don't care about each other? Why don't we love each other? This is a strange thing to me, man. I think that well, that's what resonates with our community because people genuinely love each other here. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I was interrupting. Um, there's there's that verse in the Bible. All I can quote it is from the King James because that's what I always studied. But it said, um, because iniquity will abound, the love of many will wax cold. Yeah, yeah. And I think that that's what we're seeing is that there's just so much bad that happens that you then you, it makes you cold you closed off you can't feel everything every day every second of the day my god mm -hmm. so at some point you have to kind of like shut off certain facets of who you are because it's just too painful mm -hmm. the song is about the initiation of yourself into the idea that there is more to life than war and fighting within religion things like that initiating yourself into the idea he he talks like he writes <laughs> that's a very kind of awkward way of saying that. Um, but that's but that's a brilliant way of um, communicating that that concept. Mm -hmm. We don't need to... 1971, so 1971, Vietnam's still going on, right? Because that ended in 74? So <laughs> Vietnam's going on. A lot of upheaval. I don't know what country these guys are from. These guys are Americans? I'm not sure. But yeah, yeah I can see that. And, and the lyrics... The lyrics fit perfectly. All right. What do you give it? <sighs> yeah. Um, that's interesting. I'm going to give this song a 9.8. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, 9.85. I probably don't believe that either. 
Alan. So you're probably right about that. I'm going to Vin out this week. I have an ending. Vin out! Sorry out! Gone!